How high can the price of Ethereum go in 2021? I'm seeing all kinds of predictions out there. Some say $10,000, $20,000. I'm even seeing some big YouTube accounts call for 50,000, 80,000 plus. All right. So who's right? What's even plausible? Well, that's what I'm be talking about today in this video as a blockchain developer who works the Ethereum protocol on a daily basis and as an Ethereum investor who's watched this space every single day over the last you know three years plus, all right? So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. And last but not least, there are lots of people impersonating me down in the comment section below. So don't get scammed. I'll never give you my phone number or ask you to invest with me. All right, so let's get started. So the Ethereum price predictions for this market cycle are all over the place. Uh, Bloomberg Crypto is calling for $10,500 per Ether. Former Goldman Sachs executive Raul Paul is calling for $20,000 per Ether. And then if you look around on YouTube, people are saying like $80,000 plus. So who's right? Well, nobody knows for sure what the price of Ether is going to be by any specific date. But you have to understand it's all about probability, right? What's likely to happen? And well, how can you determine what's likely to happen? You know, some scenarios more than others. Well, when someone tries to predict the price of Ether, you should ask them why they think that. And if they give you a really compelling answer, then it can greatly increase the chances that they're right or that their prediction's close to what's actually gonna happen. And so I wanna examine this prediction today on Ethereum hitting $20,000 per Ether this market cycle, because I think there's a really strong thesis behind this prediction. So let's start off with Raul Paul, who's the mastermind behind this prediction, in case you're not familiar with who he is. So he's a former Goldman Sachs executive. He's the CEO and co-founder of Real Vision. And he's just an incredibly sharp global macro investor who I've been following for quite some time now. So, you know, if you're watching this video or anybody connected to you is, I would love to have you as a guest on this channel. My contact info is down below. That would totally make my year. But in addition to these really impressive titles, he also has an incredible track record of predicting ETH's moves over the past year at the beginning of this bull cycle. So I was following along with these as I was, you know, accumulating Ether all throughout this phase. Some even down in the $100 range. So you can check these out if you want to see more of his track record. But I want to talk about his specific thesis for why Ethereum could hit $20,000 this cycle. So his thesis hinges on the idea of where Ethereum's value comes from. And that's critical because people get really confused on how you can even value cryptocurrencies in the first place. Like they don't work like stocks. They don't work like regular currencies or commodities. So he would argue that Ethereum and Bitcoin both are valued in the same way that the value of the currency itself is actually dependent upon the size of the network, or in other words, the number of people who actively use it. So in his thesis, he talks about Metcalfe's law, which is an idea that was really popular during the dot-com boom. It's where we get the idea of network effect. So basically, you can think about a social network being valuable the more number of people that use it. So if you got on Facebook and you didn't have any friends to interact with, you wouldn't want to use Facebook, right? That's basically what Metcalfe's law says, but it gets very specific. It says the effect of a telecommunications network is proportional to the square of the connected users to the system. So there's an exponential relationship in value the more people join. So you see this diagram here, like if you have a telephone system with only two phones, then only you, there's only one connection. You can just talk to one person. But if you have five telephones, there's you know a lot more connections. It's a square, so 25 connections. And when you add you know 10, there's it, it just goes crazy, right? And so his thesis actually applies Metcalfe's law to the price of both Bitcoin and Ether, saying that there is a exponential relationship to the price of the actual cryptocurrency to the number of people who join the network itself. So he has some data to back that up. So you look at the network value here of Bitcoin over time, and you see as the number of active addresses increases linearly, then the price increases exponentially. And so that's just the unit price. Uh, but that also holds true for the market cap of Bitcoin as well, okay? As the number of active addresses increase uh, by a linear relationship here, then you start to see this trending curve move upward for the actual market cap of the cryptocurrency itself. And so he's saying that Bitcoin and Ethereum work the same way as far as their price relationship goes, the number of active users. And that Bitcoin's, you know, five years older than Ethereum, so it already has a five-year head start. And Ethereum is falling on a very similar trajectory to Bitcoin did in its early days. So you can see the number of active addresses on ETH here in its first five years laid over Bitcoin's first five years and a very similar curve upward. But one notable exception is that the ETH market cap is growing faster than the Bitcoin market cap at the same point in time for the first 
uh, from the first 1 million active addresses, which you can see here. All right. So both are moving at an exponential rate, but the ETH is moving at a faster exponential rate at the beginning. And here you can even see the ETH price laid over the Bitcoin price starting at the time that both passed 1 million active addresses and what they did. So the ETH price is tracking eerily similar to the Bitcoin price in those early days. And that price structure is nearly identical even in long terms. So if you extrapolate that all out, assuming that you know these market cycle plays out the way we think it's going to, then he arrives at an Ether price prediction of $20,000 this cycle. That would be the same as the Bitcoin price at the top of the last cycle, but the market cap would ETH would actually be bigger than Bitcoin's last cycle. All right. And so what are my thoughts on this? Can we actually reach $10,000 per Ether this cycle? Well, I do think it's possible and I think his thesis is very strong. Now, that being said, I'm a realist. You know, I'm an Ethereum investor, so I'd be super happy if, if we got to $20,000. But let me, let me lay out some, some caveats here. So number one, we have to make sure that this market continues. All right. So, you know, last year in March, we saw a big dump uh, because of, you know, the global events happening and something like that could happen again. I mean, a lot of people think that the, the global macro scene looks favorable for this bull market to keep going. But, you know, something could always come in and end the party early. You know, if that happens, we may not see $20,000 this cycle. And so you have to think about this in terms of probability. Like, it's possible that we could hit $20,000 a cycle, but there are some things that could reduce the probability of that. Like, you know, a global macro event happening that could end the party early. Other is also just statistical variance. So, you know, we looked at these charts where there's a high correlation between the number of active users on the network and, uh, you know, an exponential increase in the price and also the market cap as well. So there could be some statistical variance in this. So we could go well above $20,000, okay? We could go slightly below $20,000, maybe even lower. And so if like you've bought into Ethereum and your target is to sell at $20,000, like you may not see that exact number even if we get close to $20,000 this cycle. So you don't want to like bank on cashing out there and then you know the price tanks like 80 percent and then now you're like below where you bought in or something like that so you have to keep that in mind when you're thinking about these price predictions right and as always it's not financial advice i'm not telling you to buy ether but if you're going to then that's something that you need to understand with uh, these price predictions and so if you're continuing to think about things in terms of probability that way and also statistical variance then what else what other targets could you be looking at all right so i think anything above twenty thousand dollars is pretty ambitious all right you have to see some pretty crazy variants in order to get there like i said we might get there i'll be very happy as an ethereum holder all right because the higher the price goes you know after it falls this cycle that means the floor will probably be higher okay so let's get a little more conservative so i would still call ten thousand dollars per ethereum ambitious like very possible but am ambitious all right so something i think is like way way conservative is like four to five thousand dollars this cycle and i know that like kind of puts a damper on some people but i'm thinking in terms of probability here right the way that ether's been moving there's a high likelihood that we're going to hit four to five thousand dollars this cycle again not financial advice we may not even get there like i talked about earlier there could be some global macro event something else that we don't even see coming that could end the party early but i think four to five thousand dollars is very conservative and very realistic and so if you've been watching this youtube channel for the past few years you were with me all throughout the bear market and you had the chance to buy ether in the you know one hundred dollar range even if you were just buying last summer you could have easily bought in the four to five hundred dollar range and that would be a 10x return on investment if we hit four to five thousand dollars this year which would make pretty much anybody on the face of the planet really happy to get a 10x on their money right <laughs> and so in summary yes i do think we can hit twenty thousand dollars per ether but you need to be prepared if we don't quite get there right for all these reasons i've laid out and but hey you know Cryptocurrency markets can surprise everybody. We might go higher, but I'm definitely not counting on it for my long-term investment strategy. So hope you like this video. You know, as always, smash that like button down below, subscribe to this channel. It really helps these videos out so that more people can learn about blockchain. And if you're as fascinated with this technology as I am, and you want to learn how to become a blockchain developer today, well, then how can you do that? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And you don't have to be a programmer in order to like learn this stuff, right? I've helped people with zero programming experience become real world blockchain developers. You know, a lot of people watch the cryptocurrency markets and they get fascinated with the technology itself. Or some people are sitting there saying, I want to buy cryptocurrency, but you know, I don't have enough money to do it. Well, blockchain is an incredibly lucrative career, all right? So if you want to raise the funds to buy your own cryptocurrency, then you know becoming a blockchain developer is one of the best ways to do it. It's one of the highest paid skills in tech, all right? So 
If you like those courses and you want to hit the next step or you want to just take a master shortcut entirely, then I can show you how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. I can show you how to build your own real-world application from scratch, teach you their programming languages so that you can land a high-paying job, become a freelancer, you know, build your own project. Just click the link down below to sign up today. All right, that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.